guys. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Uh, people always say I don't show them how to make a really good steak, and especially right now, I like a good steak. So about once a month, I enjoy me a really good, I usually used to go out and have a really good steak dinner, but tonight I'm gonna show you guys how to make a great, high quality, almost restaurant quality steak dinner at home, really easy for a fraction of the price. So, um, Two different steaks I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna to do a filet mignon and I'm gonna also gonna do a ribeye. Uh, the differences between the two, the ribeye is a little bit more fat. Um, generally, it has more flavor and this is a bone in ribeye, so the bone tends to store more flavor, whereas the filet mignon is gonna be a little bit more tender, but as someone would say, dry, because it doesn't have much fat. And um, as far as the preparation of these, is really easy, easy to season, and I'm gonna show you guys how to season them really quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. Basic seasoning for this is gonna be just some uh, basic salt. So let's start off with a little bit of sea salt, uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. Okay. I'm gonna do both sides. And when you season your steak, remember that you get all the sides as well. So, Most of the seasoning is gonna burn off when you cook. So don't be afraid to do, to season it really well, all right? Next up, some coarse black pepper. And you can be very generous with that as well. And the same thing here. Now basically this would be all you would need as far as seasoning, okay? Um, just basic black and black uh, black pepper and salt. Um, but sometimes you might wanna add a little rub. Today I'm gonna do a little rub on mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of rub on it. And when you put the rub in, once again, this rub, the rub is usually gonna have very little salt, but like I said, be generous with it. Make sure you get all the sides as well when you do the rub because most of this is gonna burn off, okay? You wanna kinda of rub it in a little bit when you do it. All right. Okay. All right, now, that would pretty much be it. Something else you can do if you choose to is you can add a little bit of garlic. So I'm gonna put a little bit of gar garlic on mine. a little marinade and uh, get this open. There we go. One second. All right. Just kind of smear it on nice and even there. And mind you, this is just gonna, you're just kind of coating it with it a little bit. It doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. Okay, and same thing here. All right, and lastly, once again, to add extra flavor because this, is, this meat is gonna sit for a while and basically marinate, all the, the seasoning is gonna soak in, you can take a little bit of onion and just place it on the bottom of it like that, okay. Wrap your meat up and keep it room temperature. What you don't want to do is you don't want to have your meat coming in from the uh, refrigerator when you cook. So room temperature meat is always best to go into a hot oven. Okay, so nicely done there. And then we go ahead and rewrap that. Stick this in the same package and then we wrap it. And let it sit for about an hour or so. I'm gonna use this one as well and it will be ready to cook in a little bit. Now here's the thing about, once again, I always tell people about meat. Meat is not your problem, it's processed meat. So whenever I buy meat, I buy grass-fed, I buy high-quality meat. Once again, 
this is a pretty big meal for me, but given the fact that I don't eat meat very often, and I didn't eat meat yesterday, nor will I probably eat meat tomorrow, once again, a good steak is not going to kill you. As a matter of fact, it can be very healthy for you, especially if you pair it the right things. So once again, we're gonna let this sit for about uh, an hour or two, and then we're gonna come back and show you how it's done in your own oven at home. So now we're back. Um, our meats has now marinated for about an hour or two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it really quickly. All right, and once again, this is now at room temperature. My oven is now preheated to 500 degrees. And so now what I'm gonna do now is gonna place my steak in the oven at 500 degrees. And um, we talk about pairing meats. Once again, um, a lot of people don't realize traditionally people eat steak and potatoes. Well, that actually is really not good for your body. And I've made a post that actually addresses that so you can go and check that out. But what I'm gonna pair my steak with is something like asparagus. You wanna pair your steak with a non-starchy vegetable. So sometimes people think, oh, potato is a vegetable. No, you want a non-starchy vegetable like asparagus, Brussels sprouts, spinach, etc. Because when you put it with starchy vegetables, it actually nullifies and actually retards your body's ability to digest and stuff like that. And can, can actually cause issues because then the meat doesn't really digest really well. And then it goes down into your large intestine, your colon and actually putrefies. So you don't really want to do that. So really you want to eat it with more non-starchy vegetables. So let's go ahead and get this in there really quickly. So hold on one second, let me go ahead. I have my cast iron pan in there preheated at 500 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this in. Go. And as you can see, take our steak and we just Go ahead and let that cook up for about five minutes, and in five minutes we're gonna come for our first flip. So now that my steak has been in my oven for five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out so I can flip it. So let's go ahead and pull that out. I set it on a live fire. Flip. Let's go ahead and flip it. As you can see it's already starting to char. All right. Now I've made some garlic butter with some fresh rosemary. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on. Fantastic. Now what I'm also gonna do at this point is I'm gonna go ahead and toss my oven, my onions in there so they can caramelize. And last but not least, once I put my up my uh, steak in the oven, let's go ahead and get that done now. I'm also going to stick my asparagus in there because I like my asparagus al dente. So it takes about 10 minutes for it to come out nice and crispy. So we're going to stick that in there now. All right. Now, um, if you like your asparagus a little bit softer then you can put it in, in the beginning. I always tell people it's a lot easier to start crispy and then you can always cook it a little bit more. So 10 minutes is all you need for a nice crispy asparagus. So in about five minutes, I'm gonna flip my steak again, but that's where it is right now, five minutes flip, and we'll be right back in five. So now our meat should be almost just about done, so I'm gonna pull it one more time and see what we look like. All right. And now you can lay your onions on top. Okay, this is going to be the final five minutes. Like I said, we're making a medium steak. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in one last time for about three minutes. This should complete our 15 minutes. So next time I pull it, we're done. So now we're just at 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and pull it out. All 
right. Asparagus stays in there for a quick second. And we should have a nice medium steak. Whenever you pull your steak out of the oven, caramelized onions on the side. Whenever you pull your steak out of the oven, you like you, you should let it sit for about five minutes and let it rest. Um, now, we're gonna check our asparagus and see what our asparagus texture is. Okay, now if your asparagus is a little uh, uh, firm, which these ones are, what you could do is you pull them, and toss them into your pan, them off. Right. So like I said, I like my asparagus kind of uh, crispy. So we'll go ahead and pull them now. One of the things I did before going live is I got me some pineapples and I'm going to actually roast some pineapples real quick. All right, and uh, we're going to let this meal sit for about five minutes while the meat rests before we cut it. But that's how easy it is to make a high quality steak meal with the proper size, which would be something like asparagus or spinach and not potatoes, because that's how your body actually processes it. You can get the best out of your meal. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you like it, and uh, leave me your questions in the comments. All right.